now that that's done, I have to start thinking what I should do for my mother because her birthday's coming up next month. And I just hope that I don't f that one out live today. I think I can only hope for that. Okay. All right. Hi, Bon Jawir. Today, on this fine evening, I'm gonna tell you an amazing story of how I made my mom a birthday cake. So, this entire journey, it began on April 1st. At the back of my mind, I was, you know, trying to figure out what I should do for my mom because her special day was coming up in like literally less than a week and I didn't know what to do about it and then while I was just aimlessly scrolling through Instagram I came across this amazing post that just wowed me to the point where I was like yes and I am talking about this beautiful creation this cake for some people might not be a big deal like you won't understand why did I like it so much but I don't know why, but the minute I saw it, I was like, I need to do something like that for my mother. The thing about my mother is that she doesn't like roses. She likes tulips, which is still a really basic choice between you and I. Don't tell her I said that to me. And I was like, perhaps I can put my own spin on it and uh, make a cake where, you know, there are flowers in these types, just is tulips. Thus began my research. Now, thanks to the internet, just with a couple of clicks, I was able to descend in a whole new world of buttercream palette knife painting on cakes. This was an entirely new territory for me. One that I didn't even know existed if I'm extremely being honest. And the things that came up on the YouTube search, they were absurd. I mean, portraits. People were able to make portraits, an entire landscape. Are you kidding me? Literally, I fell in love with it. And that is when I was like, you know what? I am gonna do this. I didn't really know if I was capable of pursuing this dream of mine in the first place. However, my hopes, they were high. And I was ready to take whatever it takes to deliver an amazing cake to my mother. With that thought in mind, I chucked all my worries away and went to the store to get stuff that I didn't have. With masks on, namely, couture palette. That's how you say it. Don't. Don't, don't look it up. That's how you say it. I, I promise. That's how French works. Trust me, I've done this in school. Then I just came to this realization that there's no way that I was going to be able to make the cake and the icing and do the decoration all on time. So I decided that I should just use cake mix to make the cake and just do everything else by myself. And so began the baking. This was the straightforward part. I just took the cake mix and sifted it. I think that's the word. If that's not the word that I'm looking for, don't correct me. That will really hurt my ego and uh, I will cry myself to sleep every day for the rest of my life. Anyways, so I sifted that into a bowl, put water in it until, I don't know, I improvised, until it just looked good, I guess. Definitely not how you should bake. Uh, usually, you know, when people bake, they take measurements and stuff. That's also how I usually do things, but I don't know, that day I was just feeling rather so that's what I did, just eyeballed the water until it just looked good and put some oil in it because uh, you were supposed to do that, I don't, I don't know. And that, that was it, like the batter is ready. However, this is where things get a little spicy because this is where you can really customize the thing and make it your own. And let's just say my mother loves roasted walnuts in her cake. So that's why I just decided to quickly take a couple, cut them up, you know, chop them. I actually chopped them a little too fine, like they almost became like a powder, but don't worry. It all turned okay in the end, for the most part. And just threw those babies in in a pan and roasted them. <laughs> After that, I chucked them in the batter and then I put some chocolate chips. My mother doesn't really care about chocolate chips. But the thing is, is that I'm the one who was making this cake, so I'm the one who was really calling them shots, you know what I mean? I love chocolate chips in my cake, so I threw a bunch of those. It was definitely so much more than what was needed, but uh, felt like it did it. <laughs> Too late now. And with that, the batter was 100% done. Then I had to prep the cake mold. What I did was just brush some oil and uh, put some flour. That's what my mom told me to do, so I just did it. Then I transferred the batter in the mold and, and then put that thing in the oven so that it can cook. Sorry, bake. Is it the same thing? I think it's the same thing. If you think about it, the batter, it just cooks. 
and then whatever it just bakes okay once that was done i took it out and it was looking it was looking good i was kind of proud of myself only to remember that i didn't really make the batter myself so of course it was gonna be good but whatever we don't have to we don't have to think about that but when i was trying to get the cake out of the mold that's when the real disaster struck it was it was stuck to the bottom like i don't know the side the side came off but it just wouldn't let go of the plate so i panicked after panicking for a while i just came to this conclusion that you know what i'm just gonna keep it there genius i know i know <laughs> settle, settle down but i didn't really have time to think about these things and i just had to start working on my buttercream to do that all i had to do was take the entire brick of butter that i had and put it in another bowl and whisk it so that it becomes like soft <laughs> then put powdered sugar in it whisk it again put more sugar in it whisk it again and put a little bit of vanilla essence and then after that you guessed it whisk it more until it starts looking like buttercream basically and that was it then it was time for me to ice the cake now i know what a couple of people are thinking here tanu why didn't you just use a piping bag with icing to kind of you know make things easier for you it's because i i forgot that exists that's it so i took like the hard way and wasted more time on doing this took a lot of it and plopped it on the cake with the help of a spatula and just smeared it i just smeared it all over once that was done i had to let the cake chill for about 30 minutes and in the meantime uh i decided to prepare kind of like my palette for that day with all the colored buttercream that i needed so using buttercream and food coloring I got to work. I was extremely excited about this part because I was finally able to use my couture à palette and that was just an experience that I was looking forward for the entire evening. And using those beautiful babies, I created yellow, pink, purple, and green. And then I just, I put more food coloring in just because it was looking more pastel. However, I really wanted pop and saturated colors, if that makes sense. And then it was the fun stuff. All the hard stuff, all the boring stuff, that was all gone. Namely, painting with my palette knives on a cake. This part was definitely my favorite because I didn't really have to be perfect in any way, shape, or form. The main thing about this part was have fun because at the end of the day, it was painting. I didn't really have like a plan in mind. I really wanted to freehand everything, go with the flow, do whatever I feel in the moment and that's what I decided to do. Just play with the colors and play with patterns and whatnot. Of course that did result in the first two tulips to turn out rather ugly than the rest. The main thing that I just concentrated on was that it should look somewhat like tulips. And once I was done, I realized that I have to put this in the fridge again But we, we kind of sort of live in the same house When it's dinner time, when she's gonna open the thing The first thing that she's gonna see is the cake So I did, I did the bare minimum As you can already guess By the way, I pronounced those three French words I've completely forgotten it So I just decided to use its flashcards that I made for my IG's 10th grade boards To just write a very threatening message That my mother would definitely get scared off when she sees it and not even dare to look in the direction of the cake so that it stays a surprise for her only for me to realize that i wrote it upside down but it was too late and i was like you know what i'm hungry so i don't care after placing that magnificent message in the fridge i finally was done with the cake next day it was mommy's birthday and in the evening we cut it together and she really liked it i must say i i liked it too but like i said this was more kind of like an experimental thing it didn't really look that great but then again this was just my first try with using buttercream my first time using palette knives with with that keeping in mind i am going a bit easy on myself but definitely i could have done a better job like there's always room for improvement at the end of the day my mom really liked it she kept saying that she didn't want to cut the cake because it looked too pretty i don't really know if i should be like happy that oh my god she thinks it's so pretty that she doesn't want to cut it or literally just be like cut the cake like i made it for you but that was sweet she's a sweet woman and she and she deserves it so at the end of the day all i want to say that rhymed <laughs> amazing no but seriously at the end of the day what i want to say is that all the cake boss episodes that i watched when i was a kid it all paid off i remember i was obsessed with 
cake making, you know, decorating stuff. To the point where I remember, I think in like fifth grade or something, my teacher had asked all of us to kind of write where do we see us in the future. And I legit wrote, I wanted to work in a bank, earn enough money to the point where I can move to the little town and open my own bakery and decorate cakes. And the fact that I was subscribed to How to Cake It back then just fueled my urge to be a cake artist. Yeah, that's never gonna happen. I'll make sure that never happens because uh, number one, I don't want to work in a bank and number two, I'm not even that good at making cakes. Anyways, that was today's video and I hope you liked it and if you did, then give it a thumbs up. You don't have to, but it would be really nice if you would. Subscribe to this channel because the subscribe button is really close to the like button and turn the post notifications on because you've done so many things and just one more is not gonna hurt you. And yeah, peace. Papi, look at this. <laughs> look at this. I didn't do it.